Hey guys, to get in the spirit of the preliminary final this week, we're throwing back to some great preliminary final moments over the years. This is the ball goal, yeah. I was uh, my best mate's couch um, in his living room. And we, this is the one to go up, so Buddy was just keep the goal beforehand, and I thought that was game over. And then Bully comes out on the left boot. Yeah, that was a bloody good goal. Just owning that moment. I remember this, it was a pretty, uh, pretty intense game. Low scoring affair. Oh, 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 oh. Quickest player in the comedy, he knows he's out. Daisy just does what he can, does what he has to to get the job done. I'm excited with hair. <laughs> Looks like a rooster. It's obviously a great tackle. Uh, yeah. It, it kind of gives me Q sort of vibes, or Bo McCreary sort of vibes. You won't see me doing that. There's no way I'm tackling or keeping up with Rioli, so it's, it's pretty impressive. It's no spoil or anything, but it's still pretty good. That was a pretty sick game. I remember watching that years back and um, been pretty glued, glued to the TV screen. It's a prelim final. No, it's, it's all or nothing right now. And uh, little things like that, well, that, that's a big one, 30 seconds to go. Um, they're the ones that get the job done. That's a great head of hair as well. It's pretty similar to a couple of boys, I know. What doesn't fall far? Twice. I've seen Nick and Josh both handball to themselves. <laughs> just take the game on, play freely. Just you know, It's almost like playing footy as a kid, just do what comes natural and it's, it's going to come off. I can't remember exactly, oh, two or three, one of them I was camping with my auntie and she set up the uh, El Fresco area, just the TV, just for me, because um, she knew I was a big Pies fan. So, can't remember if it was this one or the, or the one after, but yeah, I remember that goal. He's, that's a classic forward. They look like they're going to pass it off, but they just know Checkers does it all the time. They just full well know they're going for the goals. And they know they're probably kicking it as well. But I, I'm just jealous, I can't do it. That's huge. How <laughs> is that going through? <laughs> That's massive. Gives it the Geordie celebration too, a real awkward one. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember this. I've never been to a game of football that was this crazy. What a game this was. It was a strut after it. You know when um, Coxie's got his swagger and almost arrogance that he's having a good night and he's going to be unstoppable. And there he goes again. Stare down. Don't look at me. <laughs> on the same sort of big Coco energy this weekend. Look at the roar from the crowd. It's very hard to describe. Um, it's kind of similar to the effect I think Guinea has as well. Um, even when Guinea came on in the first final as sub, like the crowd just goes crazy and you get like so much from it as well. The Coxie, Coxilla. He loves owning the moment, doesn't he? <laughs> when he's up and about and you know, getting in people's faces, we are playing unbelievable football and he's running and jumping, like you just, you just can't stop him when he's like that. Really nice seeing him play to his strengths and doing what he does because we're a better team when he's doing it. So this was a great year, 2018. It was a pretty good first year of football. It was pretty exciting. You were say chant going nuts by this point? I just remember that the hands in the air, big smile, I was just like loving it. Go Pies. As much as you want to enjoy the moment, you, just, you want it here right now to, to have a crack at it and hopefully get the jockeys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Go Pies.